So the power outages are a concern and we're going to get to that in a second. I want to recap our precipitation totals because this could play a role into what we deal with tomorrow with more potential storms in the forecast. So precipitation totals for the month of July so far. This is what we have recorded at Metro Airport. So we are now officially over five inches of rain on average up until this point. We should be just shy of three inches and so we have over a two inch surplus. This time last year we were just shy of two inches, so we actually had about an inch deficit last July. So it wasn't all that long ago that we were talking about drought here as we were getting off of a very dry spring, and now we have a surplus of rain. And so when you deal with the rain and the gusty winds, that creates some of these uprooted trees. So for tomorrow, taking you into midnight come Saturday morning, we could be picking up another inch of rain in some locations with storms that could develop into the afternoon. We have a slight risk for severe storms once again on your Friday. So today is a little brief break from the action and then we welcome back the storm chances for southeastern Michigan and the severe threats for Friday are a little lower than yesterday. However, the main threat will be gusty winds. So going back to those precip totals, our ground is incredibly saturated and when you have those gusty winds, really roots and even those really large trees only go down about a uh, foot and a half to about two feet. And so it doesn't take much for them to be uh, toppled over with a really strong wind gust. So we could see more uprooted trees just like this heading into your Friday. But some folks waking up to this kind of scene this morning. This one coming out of Gross Point Farms, one of our my pick photos and some storm damage from Anna in Ann Arbor showing a down tree as well. So you can send in your storm damage photos via my picks on click on Detroit.com and our forewarn weather app. And so it's no surprise that we saw that kind of damage when we clocked wind speeds like this. 67 mile per hour wind gusts were reported in Romulus, 66 in Gross Point Shores, a lot of 60 mile per hour uh, wind gusts out there across Metro Detroit yesterday. So that would be equivalent to like a EFZ zero tornado rolling through. We didn't have rotating storms. These were straight line winds, but created quite a bit of power outages that we're still dealing with this morning. This is our latest county power outage map. Thousands of people affected the most affected in Wayne County. So as we look at clouds and radar, here's the break that we're dealing with. We're pushing the cloud cover way to our east, but waking up to humidity levels in the 90 percentile. It certainly is a muggy morning. Temperatures on either side of 70 to start the day. We're under an air quality alert until midnight tonight, so try to limit your outdoor outdoor activities and temperatures will be rising into the upper 80s paired with some sunshine taking you through the timeline for your Friday. So we have those storms that roll through looking like they could be midday with a few more chances going into the evening, but there's still some uncertainty as to how that's going to pan out. Staying muggy for your Friday before catching some relief into the weekend, but your future forecast shows after we hit the 90s tomorrow, 80s this weekend into early next week.